is something I've been doing for about 10 years now. It's kind of become a hobby of mine uh, to do seasonal forecasting. And my main message to you this morning is simply going to be, we don't know. <laughs> you know, I think <laughs> basically we're doing well if we can tell you it's going to be a little bit warmer than normal or cooler than normal. And keep in mind that's stretched out over three, four, five months, not dealing with uh, next week or one particular cold episode. Temperature outlooks. You would assume pretty good confidence here because we, that we're going to be warm. But as we learned last winter, if we have a couple of big Arctic individual outbreaks, those usually, usually last for a good week with the dew points down into the single digits. That can really kill a temperature uh, average that would have been normal to above and puts it down into the cooler category. What, I, what I'm projecting this year, I didn't break this down as much as I have in years past, Temperatures, uh, you know, normal to above seems to be a good confident point. But again, if we have a couple of cold Arctic outbreaks, that will bust that forecast. Precipitation, no confidence. But this is interesting. All of the numbers that I ran, I think with only one or two exceptions, never had more than a four inch deviation. Meaning all these winters and this type of inso package coming up for Portland were either within four inches below normal, normal, or within four inches on the other side above normal. Now we just finished about four to five inches below normal, so it, that's the type of deviation we're talking about that seems to be a possibility. About 20% of the data set hits on a, an eight inch event uh, snow wise, and no reason to believe that Mount Hood won't have another, what would be a typical average year, that's 500 inch snow projection of 6,000 feet on Timberline Lodge. Understand that's total snowfall. That includes what falls let's say today, and then melts away. But trends to watch. Dry winter months, wet spring months. Again, I've done a lot of this on KGW TV and also posting on KGW.com that if you go back the last decade or so, we've had this trend that the rainy season is almost starting to slide into the spring months. And in fact, if you do the numbers for the past 12 years or so, we've had nearly the same amount of moisture during the months of November through February that we've had total during the months of March um, through June. So that'll be a trend to continue to watch. Dry Februarys, last year busted that. We had over five inches. But last year was only the second February in the last 11 years that was abnormal or above with precipitation. And in fact, most of those years only averaged about an inch and a half. We have a, a vessel we, that's out in Astoria. We launch it out there every single day. This is the SS Meadows. We have a, a, a crack snow uh, forecasting crew. We launch the weather balloons, and then, and then, then it brings it back into our, uh, into our headquarters up at Mount Hood Meadows. You've probably seen this equipment if you got the inside tour. Uh, this is all part of Doppler 8001. <laughs> and, and right there, you could see it. It's uh, the Doppler, it looks a lot like a golf ball but that's we've got that set up there too and and they're saying that it, it should be a really 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 good forecast we, we give it to our to our forecasters who then interpret the weather and then they come up with what we consider to be a great forecast for this winter you know you recognize this little creature don't you you know what that is out there yeah well this was uh, taken uh, this is the in normal years but it went up yesterday and guess what they're getting ready <laughs> for a cold winter.